Okay, so we're gonna get ready to do this AI on cookie. So I have I've added a little bit of the semen extender into here. So to suck it up with your tube, you're gonna get your tube down there. Yorkies do not have very much sperm that comes out, especially the little ones. You don't need to add the whole bottle. You're gonna slowly suck it up too quickly, and you're gonna ruin the tails of the sperm. Okay, I've got a little air in my tube, so I'm gonna just go back out a little bit. Okay, so we're gonna put that down. Okay, so she's a little bit wily. She doesn't like this. She's a little bit, you know, she likes to move around. So you're gonna flip her tail up. I like to have two people do it, especially when you have a female who's not going to willingly push against you as you're pushing the tube in. She's gonna turn, try to turn and bite a little bit. So what you're gonna do, you wanna go in, you don't wanna scrape the bottom of this V on her vulva. You wanna get in up here at the, at the more of the top area. You can tell she's ready. As soon as I start touching around here, her, her tail moves to the side. And you can tell that she's ready. So what you're gonna do is you don't wanna go to the very bottom and try to go up. You're gonna go towards the top of the opening of the slit. Start to get that in there. Actually, we can use a little bit of gel. Hopefully that will make, this is for sperm friendly gel, by the way. This will make it a little bit easier for the female, especially tiny ones like this. Okay. So, we're gonna go in. Remember, don't go at the bottom, go at the top. Okay, we're going in at an angle, at an upward angle, okay? Okay, I'm feeling a little bit of resistance, so it probably means my tube's right at the top, right under her hips. So I'm going to start to push the tube down. Those, um, the uterine horn, you're going to come down into the uterine horn. So once you get up and you hit the top, start to angle yourself down. See how I slipped right in there? Slip it up, and then look, now I'm pretty far in there. She's expressing a little discomfort if I try to go any farther. So we're going to just leave it right there. This is only a six inch tube, so... The male is at least that long and he's able to get him whole self, his whole self inside of her. So then we're just going to slowly insert, raise her bum up in the air a little bit so you don't, you get as little coming back out as possible. And you got to realize this is way more fluid than what a male would normally deposit into a female. Okay, I'm just slowly pushing the fluid in, looking for any back fluid. I'm not seeing any. If I saw any fluid coming back out, I'd readjust where my tube is sitting inside of her. Oh, I'm seeing a little bit of fluid back out. You can see a couple drips right there. We're going to readjust a little bit. There we go. See the tube went even just a little farther. Okay. Kind of touch her back here. This is what a normal experience would be. She'd be filling the mail. See, now we're slowly pushing that in. We're not seeing any fluid come back out. Okay, we're all in. I'm going to take the bottom of her vulva and push it up, pull the tube out. Now we're going to keep her up like this for about 15 minutes. You want that fluid to be able to flow right down into the uterine horns and um, get as many eggs as possible. She did really good. Good girl. So yeah, that's our AI. Thanks for watching.